welcome to another episode of Oranda Talks. Today we will talk about the Big Bang Theory and my guest today is Jonathan Ford. The show originally centered on five characters living in Pasadena, California. Leonard Hofstadter and Sheldon Cooper. Both are physicists at Caltech who share an apartment. Penny, a waitress and aspiring actress who lives across the hall. And Leonard and Sheldon similarly geek and social awkward friends and co-workers aerospace engineer Howard Wolowicz and astrophysicist Raj Kutrapali. Over time there were more supporting characters were promoted to starring roles including neuroscientist Fairy M. Amy Farrah-Fowler, Michael Biologist, Bernadette Wasenkowski, and comic book store owner Stuart Bloom. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, well, Jonathan, thank you for joining me again. It's a little while ago. Yes, it's it's been a while, but it's nice to be back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so did you uh, follow the uh, coronation of King Charles the Third? Oh yes, I did. That was uh, that. That was very nice to see. Um, yes, I I spent most of uh, y- yesterday on the actual coronation morning watching it with my mother. So yes, that was nice as well. Yeah, good. Yeah, it's not, nice not for me to see what uh, kind of tradition England has, e- and uh, yes. yeah. and of course the Netherlands has also a monarchy. So uh, yes. yeah, it's just yes, nice right. to see the uh, traditions of it. But uh-huh. we are, today are going to talk about the Big Bang Theory, of course, the sitcom from America. Right. Um. Yeah. What do you think of this whole sitcom um, series well, that... Yeah, uh, well, uh, yes, um, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan. Um, I can't remember when I um, first start, started watching it, but um, yeah, it's very good. I enjoy it very much and... Um, it's shown a lot, or it was um, shown a lot on the television um, here on the uh, on the channel fours and E four, and uh, yes, and, and I and, um, don't really get tired of watching uh, the repeats either. So <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's it's got a lot of staying power. Yes. Yeah, me too. Me too. I think it's a, it's a, in one way it's a very good sitcom because of, of course, uh, we're talking about four nerds, and the nerds even get girlfriends and wives and what they are all doing. So um, yeah, I really enjoy it, and even what you say in watching the reruns, that's just uh, yeah, it's just still funny, fun to watch. <laughs> yes, yes. So yeah. do you have any uh, favorite characters in um, it? Well, I suppose that I like. Um, I suppose I like uh, Sheldon because I actually I'm I'm wondering in some ways whether whether I'm a bit like him in the things that um, uh, don't quite um, fit and whatever and that the things that. Um, he finds difficult. I find a bit, bit of problem there as well. And it's good, of course. Um, it's been really good. I know they're not necessarily talking about this, but um, it's good also that um, there's been a um, a series uh, uh, called Young Young Sheldon, mm. in which he has uh, reflected on it earlier life and and that's uh, i think that's gone really well and helps me to understand the character a bit more and there's 
They're very good in um, referencing one another um, on the both series. So, yes. I think he's probably my, my favorite character, yes. Yeah, he is very, um, how can I say this? Um, in one way, very unique. Yes. <laughs> he has yeah. this the, this ways, but he is very smart, but he lack of social, um, yeah, social things that yes. uh, we normally the have. Skills, though, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, I was, I'm, yeah. I was Sorry, very, I'm... very um, surprised that he got this relationship with Amy Farrah Fowler. Yes. And yes, um, yes. how it all started, but you see in the lo in the end of it, and and that I think that is one of the most uh, beautiful moments of Sheldon when he got this award. Normally he always talked about himself, and in this moment he f uh, he thanked his wife Amy and his friends. Yes, that was a really re really good moment. Yes. Yes, so I watched that a few times now. But he's quite yeah. unique in the way of he, how yeah. he is, and and I I almost will say he has this, um, yeah. How, how do I say this? I think maybe like in a uh, autistic manner, you know, everything in a way. Yes, yes, right, yes, yes, that's right. And so, I oh, think yes, uh, that's good. the. I don't want to say that the whole series is based for him in a way, but more like um, he is a big factor of the series. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. <laughs> yes. So, but then I, and I think that it, it works well with um, them all. They've already got a good cast there and put them all together quite well and um, all the elements of it well is well written and everything so so yes it's uh yeah it seems to have stood the test of time um yes indeed yeah because what we see is that um this series has 12 seasons and i think that is one of the longest sitcom series that is uh on tv Right, yes, yes. And, uh, yes. but there are a lot of, you see in, if you see the f first episodes of season one and the last episodes of uh, season 12, you see how much they grow. And that is really yes, nice right. to see as well. Yes, yes. Yeah, so yeah. there is a, an, another one a character that of Leonard Hofstadter. That who um, has this relationship with Penny, of course, and Penny is this, well, waiter, expiring actress, but she is this popular girl, and I always was wondering, what the hell are you doing with Leonard's <laughs> half starter? Yes, yes, right. I know what you mean. <laughs> Yes. Um, but in the end, a, but in the end, they are good together. Yeah, yeah. It's a good, uh, yes, that's a good uh, uh, part of the story. You, you would imagine, um, you know, of the, um, um, he's interested in her from the moment he sees her. And, and uh, but uh, you would imagine that uh, they are worlds apart in um you know their um uh, where they are for their lives but eventually they get together so that's nice so there's hope for me yet <laughs> yes yes it um, is a, a, you know when you when they got together it's really um weird i don't want to say weird but it is Funny to see how they are opposites of each other and still they are good together. Yes, that's right, yes. And yes. for well. Sheldon, or oh, for Sheldon it was just 
I was super shocked that they were together and how they, uh, yeah, he has to share yeah. his roommate now, you know? That was good. Yes. I mean, in both of the, the relationships, you know, um, they, um, yeah, they uh, are fairly, it's it's I imagine it's how a relationship develops. They're both fairly opposite each other maybe at the beginning and then come together a bit. Yeah, it's it's good. And did you say how the um the relationship with them all have uh, yeah. developed all over the uh, the twelve series, yes. Yeah, and of course they this is really a group of friends that will stay together no matter what. And yes. Although right. the other girlfriends and wives are uh, in kind of a sense nerds as well, only except Penny, of course. But they <laughs> have... Right, yeah. it, it's just like they are so different than the boys. They, they yeah, they still have that, this... Uh, partying side and even even Amy is uh, getting wowed by uh, in, in how much influence uh, Penny and um, oh what's her name uh, the wife of Howard I can't remember her name right now uh, Benedette oh, uh, Benedette yes, yes. Sorry, uh, yeah. it yes, was so yeah. funny that they they have this influence on Amy as well because we know Amy was this ugly duckling and if you if we see her wedding dress as well oh that wedding yes, dress was oh, so ugly oh my yeah. god but yes. the fun part was also was is that um, when Amy and Sheldon got married and uh, Amy's mother was always this frequent character that is claiming Amy and Penny was the first one who was uh, talking back to her, that mother and she said uh, you park your ass down because this is your daughter and your daughter lost him and this is not your wedding. What was really nice to see and of course yes. for all the nerds uh, of course uh, Mark Hamilton who played Luke Skywalker was there yes, to yes, yes, uh, right. get them married. Talking yeah, about yeah. talking about other actors who played a little cameo of role in uh, the Big Bang Theory. Um, there were a lot of Star Trek um, yes. actors who play a part of it, even the old uh, Leonard Nimoy. Yes, that's right. And yes, yeah. I must say I always have enjoyed those episodes where that they went to go to yes. uh, the conventions and they were stranded. Yes. <laughs> that was so just that's, so funny. Yeah. But, uh, that, that, that's right. I particularly like the one with the, where James Earl Jones takes Sheldon out and about. <laughs> Um, to the uh, yeah, Sheldon uh, goes to uh, goes to meet him at uh, at a restaurant, and then and they have a, they have a, they do a few things together. That was a good one, but yes, um, it's, it's nice. And uh, as you say, how they bring uh, bring other actors in who you you would know or people who like. That kind of thing would know about, which all adds to it. Yes, what, yes. What I like about this series the most is, is that they show you that being a nerd is something that is totally normal. Yes, well, yes. And that's right. Everyone um, has their own thing, and it is so just nice. And they have been uh, specialized in different departments but they are so good in being a loyal friend in that way and yes that's right 
it's it's I think them being a nerd and being the main characters of this series, I think that is 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 not just only the comical note of it, but it's more like you can be a nerd and be a be you yourself in that way because it's yes. in that way right. totally normal. Yes. Yes. That's right. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, dear. Yes, indeed. Um, I'll tell about one of my favorite. I'm just thinking about <coughs> um, my um, favorite scene, which I can w- watch, watch and watch over again. And I even, even though um, you you know it's coming, and it's maybe a case with a lot of scenes, but um, the one I find most. Uh, uh, funny um, is when Amy accidentally hits Penny in the face with her handbag, uh, which is full of coins. <laughs> and that, that scene always, um, that's the episode in which um, uh, and, uh, uh, um, uh, Sheldon is claiming a parking space even though he hasn't had a, doesn't have a car mm. and that's one of my favorite scenes of that and, uh, and it's actually a very good episode i think that one yeah <laughs> there's only one person of uh, one character that is uh has always been alone and that's raj and yes I think later he uh, got this friend as uh, Stuart from uh, the comic store. Yeah. And and they became uh, uh, yeah like a uh, uh, some sad duo in a way because they never yes. had girlfriends. Yes. Yeah, but yes, but yes, I know what you mean. Uh, yes, they have uh, they have a good uh, a good pairing. I think, uh, yes, I think Raj... And of Raj course he did. has that uh, little Yorkshire Terrier. That yes, was his child, Cinnamon. Right. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Um, so, yes, it was a bit sad about uh, Raj that, uh, yes. But I think, I don't know, I think he was trying too hard and, and everything. I'm not sure. But it was n- nice to see... Um, Yes, nice to see that in the end. I I didn't see much. Oh, I maybe I missed a few of the later um, episodes, um, or missed rewatching them for <coughs> a while. But I didn't uh, see. It was nice to see um, Stuart and his then assistant. Um, in the shop, getting getting involved a bit. Mm. I'm not sure how that uh, ended up. Um, I, I can't remember much about that, but uh, that was a nice. Um, yeah, because they were again, they were both um, into comic books and both uh, of had the same interests. So yes, that was uh, that was a nice, a nice touch. And I mean, Stuart was is quite. Um, uh, Stuart is quite funny. Yeah, yes, yeah, Stuart is quite funny as well. Yeah, um, he he. Uh, yes, I mean, they all work well together, and it, it's a good. Uh, yes, uh, it, it, I Stuart may be the typical comic book shop owner. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm not been in many but that strikes me as you know you, you would know a lot about the subject matter if you owned one yeah uh, you know uh, yes. <laughs> yes so is there any other episode that you like as um, would say yeah. well if you guys um Watching the Big Bang Theory, you need to watch this episode. Oh well, yes. I, I mean, my my uh, my go-to one would be, um, as I say, for the um, um, 
for those of you, and uh, forgive me in, in my maybe spoiler alert about the handbag incident, but the but the one but the one where um, uh, my Sheldon is claiming a car a car parking space is uh, is a very good one. Um, I think that. Um, I, the, the 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 first one is quite good. Now, I'm not sure what. Um, I think it's a reflective one that I'm thinking of, and then they look back on how um, it all came together. The reason why um, these guys got got together in the first place and the reason why the lift um, in, in the um, in the apartment block uh, doesn't work I think I, I'm not sure whether that one came that, I, that's not the first episode I think I think that that one was kind of um, Penny asking uh, Leonard how um, she ended up um, how 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 Howard uh, sorry how Leonard and uh, Sheldon became such such good friends um, and uh, uh, like I'd say <laughs> yeah so I'd go for that one as well looking back at how it all started and no, then as a, you say yeah Sorry. It, it is um, very funny to see how all those um, friendship pro uh, process because um, yeah like you say uh, Penny came live across Leonard and Sheldon and um, yeah because Amy and Bernadette was friends with um, Penny. They became popular as well. So the boys became yes. friends with them. Yes. And um, yeah, it's it's really nice to see how that old process with all the funny moments and embarrassing moments yeah. and. and and uh, as it's um, recently happened, um, May the 4th, and we've perhaps all been thinking about Star Wars, uh, May the 4th has become quite a, uh, a, thing, a thing to remembering Star Wars. And yeah. it's, it's nice that they had quite a few episodes on which they referenced Star Wars and um, uh, they always do that. Yeah, they 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 always quote something from movies or <laughs> yes. And what they yes. all they, what they also do a lot is just playing Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, yes. Well, yes. I mean, now that's good. Now I must be be honest. I've never n never played um, that game. I Me imagine neither. that um, if I did, I would enjoy it. I get a, I get a sense of what it's all about. Um, I also get a sense that um, it can be quite complicated. I'm not. I don't know whether. Have you ever played? I have never played it. I do have interest in it, but. I yes. never have played it because uh, I have no. I'm not. I do know board games, and I know it's also online, of course. But um, I'm not a person who made make all those things. It no, will, it right. will, it, it, it would be uh, already uh, a board game that's already done. But uh, uh, I see, yes, I know what you mean. Yes, yes. But so, yes. but I am a fantasy writer, so I would love to be the game master and and write the stories. 
yes, yes. Well, yes, that's right, right, yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> I think that, one... And, I mean, oh, yeah. I think one of the scenes that I also really love, man, that was the scene that um, Sheldon had this uh, Spock action figure in the yes. box. And oh, yes. That, That's a good, yes. Uh, and the Spock figure <laughs> was talking to uh, Sheldon of getting him out and play with him. With, yes. the, with the voice, of course, yes. of uh, uh, Leonard Nimoy. Yeah, no, that that one, I'd forgotten about that one, actually, but yes. There are so good. much, yeah. there are so much yeah. nice episodes <laughs> in, the, in the series. Yes, oh yes. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, and I'm sure, I think, I I tell you, I believe they're now all available on um, a, a channel called All Four, which is... Um, a subs, a subs, subscription free channel over here, over in the UK. One of the uh, Channel 4 um, uh, group of channels. But that one's really good because, as I say, it's got all the episodes on there free. All you need to do is register. And, uh, in fact, it's a channel that I enjoy very much for other things as well. Yeah. Can you? Uh, um, so yeah. Can you identify yourself with one of the characters? Well, I, I, as I say, Sheldon, I think I can identify because of this this social thing we discussed uh, er, earlier. Though, mm. uh, for instance, um, uh, I don't know if I prefer to hang around with um, a few people, just a f few people. And, you know, when I'm at something like a party or out with my work colleagues, you know, there's only, mm. I've only seem to have um, kind of a limited amount of um, conversation there and not, uh, don't seem to fit in very well. But, um, when you're when you're talking to people about um, stuff that you know a lot about, for instance, I've just been to a Doctor Who convention, mm -hmm. and um, everybody knows episodes of uh, all that, <coughs> and you can say, uh, "What do you think of this particular thing?" Yes, so I I think Sheldon probably is the most. Uh, relatable person to me, yes. Dave, what I was wondering as well, of course you see a lot of science projects and science things uh, in the series as well, but how much of yeah. that is really true? Yes, I mean, that that would be interesting to, to know. I'm, I mean, I imagine that uh, that um, at least some of it is because I think that some I think I, I I don't know but I I think you'd have to have some of it based on um, real stuff so um, yeah that's nice to have I mean I don't know much about that kind of world but uh, I imagine it would have uh, I think I remember seeing some one of the credits on the title was something like scientific advisor or something like that um, to make sure that they are talking factually about things rather than um, hypothetical. But, it, but again, I'm not sure. I'd like to think that quite a lot of it is too. And, they um, have some, uh, some amazing projects. Yes, yes. And, and, and again, there, there must be people who do that, and there must be people who, who there may be people who are like the, the people in the Big Bang TV, the group of friends working um, on their, their projects somewhere. Yes. <laughs> so, 
maybe you you know a group of friends like them. I mean, uh, and again, that would be fairly relatable as well if you could say that um, oh, that's like um, my friend, um, whatever. I used to have. Funnily enough, I used to have um, a friend that I would say was like children as well. And mm. then he wasn't very socially thing as well. And if you went out with him and he didn't like a certain thing, you know, you'd have to be very careful. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. So you can relate to it. People, you know, group of friends could, could be your group of your group of friends at home um, quite easily and I suppose if you if you build um, build up a group of friends uh, talking to them over the years you would end up with that kind of relationship with them that Sheldon is able to talk about in the last episode well, there's only one person we still didn't have a little talk about, and that is um, Howard. And Howard oh, is the only... Right, yes. How could we forget Howard, yes. <laughs> Howard is the only one that doesn't have a master degree, but he is an engineer. Yeah. And uh, he went up to the International Space Center station. Well, uh, well yes, of course. What yes. was really, really... Um, funny as well because he'd been teased and bullied by the other astronauts but he could say yes. to everyone yeah you are a professor in this or that but I am an astronaut so yes. yeah that was really um, I in one way uh, Howard was the um, I don't want to say loser of the bunch but more of he was very yeah. um, claimed by his mother. Yes, I know what you mean. Uh, yes, yes. And uh, yeah, he was a bit of a... Yeah, I mean, he was a... He was, a, he, had a, a he was quite funny uh, in the things. But yes, he was a bit um, of... of uh, um, uh, yeah, but he, uh, he was a bit of a loser in the beginning, but maybe, uh, you know, having been to space at all. But I mean, again, I did feel a bit of bit of sympathy with him because he'd been to space and uh, maybe when he got back, he did talk about it a bit too much, whatever. But when the group uh, kind of um, uh, indicated that he was talking too much about it, um, he um, he uh, he stopped, and I think that was a bit sad for him. Because, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was also one uh, um, super funny moment, and that was um, he invented a robot arm and that was just oh. before he went into space but he was he was letting the robot arm jerking him off and he ended up in the hospital what was really funny it was yeah it was typical i want to say nerd alert but it was more yeah. like it was always <laughs> super funny because yeah, yeah. Yes. Who would uh, think about that, you know? Yes, yes, um, yes, well, um, yes, I, I, yeah, uh, I, yes, you would, uh, yes, yes, it was, uh, that was a particularly, yeah, funny episode, and the, um, the situation there was, uh, was embarrassing as well, but it, um, and, uh, the, the um, yeah, it was good how they they resolved it in the end with just turning on and turning it on, turning it off, 
turning it on and off again or whatever whatever <laughs> they did with the computer but <laughs> that is um that is um how you seem to be able to fix most problems as well if you have a computing problem it's uh, turning it on and off again generally <laughs> does help but yeah the uh, the situation was quite quite amusing and yeah that that was a funny funny episode yes <laughs> what i also love is uh the moments that they come in uh Leonard's and Sheldon's apartment and then they uh have dinner with all of them that is one yes. thing i think that is very nice to see how yeah. uh everything develop and <laughs> And the other funny part is when, uh, you know, Sheldon spot. Yes. yes. And, and, and that how that grows out to one of the things. And I believe that Sheldon moved out eventually. Or was it Leonard who moved out? Leonard was the one who moved out. Yes, yes. And I remember uh, that it wasn't, uh, yeah, it wasn't not that... A great idea for Sheldon. Sheldon was really having difficulties with it. Yes, yeah, he. I think they tried, but yes, yes. So, yes, yes. Oh, dear. Yes. Now, uh, I, yeah. th I even yeah. think that Sheldon has uh, some kind of uh, uh, Asperger's syndrome. Right, yes. If I, so, yeah. if I look at him like that, then, yeah, it's it's like... I think he has something uh, that neurotic um, lifestyle that's, yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Oh, dear. Yes, well, but so again, that's what people can relate to as well. If you have it, you can relate to that character as well. Um, and it's not necessarily something that is, well... <clears throat> regarded as unfortunate it's not something to be uh, necessarily pitied oh he's got this or he's got that it's it's just that it's just a fact that that he's got it and uh, yes so uh, the, the group uh, deal with it and there's no kind of well I mean uh, Leonard does get uh, Times extremely frustrated with uh, Sheldon, of course, but then. Uh, yeah, but who will not <laughs> have been yes, Jeez, he is so people. difficult. Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, um, I think we have had talked a lot about the bank, Big Bang Theory. Is there anything you'd like to add? Um, not a huge amount now that, uh, but of the, it's been uh, good that we can um, remind each other of episodes and that's good. <laughs> and yes, uh, and uh, it's good to be discussing this with actually someone who's watched it as well. So that, that's, yeah, it's been, uh, so, it's yeah. been uh, on the television for a long time. Yes, yes. Um, years and years now, so yes, it's but but I think that anyone who hasn't seen it, I think that any, anyone who hasn't seen it um, would enjoy it. I think there's all kinds of things to gain from it, and you would find things funny. There's nothing terribly offensive in it or whatever. So if you haven't, go and see it. That's oh. my advice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, if I take a look at the rating of on IMDb, uh, they oh, give yeah. it an 8.2 oh, for the okay. whole series. Right. What would you yeah. rate it? Yes, yes. I, I would think that's, that's right. Um, yes, I, I think 8. Uh, eight point something or ten, even ten. Um, myself probably would give it a ten. 
because, um, as I say, it's made me laugh over many years. And I probably, if I was watching an ep- episode now, I'd be laughing still. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. But it is, yeah, it's a good, good family show. Well, it's it probably, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, good, good, good watch. So, yeah, well, uh, Donald, thank you for joining with me. It was nice talking thank to you, very you much. again. Nice to be, nice to be speaking to you again. <laughs> and uh, yeah. who knows in the future? Um, yes, you can be a again a guest on my podcast show. Absolutely. Okay. Yes, I look forward to that. Well, guys, thank you for listening, and join me in two weeks for a new episode of Around the Talks. The next episode is about the Orphil and then is Tommy from Trek Cannon, my guest. You can listen, subscribe and comment to our talks on the YouTube channel or join the Facebook group. I also like to tell you about my other podcast called Girls Talking Trek. Girls Talking Trek is a podcast hosted by two female trekkers who will recap every two an episode of Star Trek TNG. All the episodes will be recapping chronically following. Ghost Talking Track is also to listen, follow and subscribe on Anchor, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music or on your favourite podcast apps. Every 10th episode will be a video episode so you guys can see us when we talk about the episode. We also have a YouTube channel and a Facebook group where you can comment on the episode. I will see you in two weeks. <laughs>